Hello guys, welcome to my brand new channel. My name is Printing Maniac and from now on I'm going to show you how the Wanhao Duplicator i3 Plus works and what is this beast capable of. Here's a demonstration. Let's start with uh, something basic, shall we? How about we print a keychain or a cutie tiny boat or a knife? I think today that we're going to print the small boat, which is the 3D Benchy, which I'll mention in the description which will give you an idea of how well this printing machine can do it. But first, we're going to add supports in order to make the print successful. I use Mesh Mixer, I use mesh mixer and Cura, which are programs that are easy to use. I'm going to show you how do I put these supports. So, right now we're going to open our <coughs> Wanhao Cura, which goes with the printer. And as you can see, we have here a small platform in which you can see. I'm going to open my to print file where there's lots of things that we're going to print together. But today we're going to print the small boat. So we're going to drag it in. Let's wait until it loads. And there you go. We can see a small, tiny, cutie boat there, which I think can is able to float while it's loading. We can see that uh, as it loads, it can th it still is the time it's going to take to print the grams and uh, what is going to be its height. I don't want such a big boat, I want a small one. So I'm going to change the scale to a smaller one. And it's not only that, you can see overhangs, layers, x-ray. If we just go a bit lower, we can see these red lines which tell us, which tell us where is the overhangs. But that isn't a problem because uh, this uh, printer includes um, support types and also X-ray, <laughs> and it. And here are the th settings that I use in order for a print to be successful. I use layer height, shell thickness, the bottom top thickness, fill density 100%, which is solid, harder to break. Print speed. I'm going to change it to 15, so it's more accurate and the time doesn't change a lot. Printing temperature 200 degrees Celsius, bed temperature um, 55 degrees Celsius. The support type I add everywhere so it's more accurate and it uh, looks more like realistic. And the platform addition is raft. The, you, it does require to use the platform addition but I recommend using it. And right now I'll just be right back. I'm going to uh, get the SD card in order to save the file as G code, which uh, is the code that um, the Wenhao duplicator is capable of reading off. So once I insert, we can see that uh, <coughs> that the SD card popped up, and once we click it, it is saved on our SD card. And now let's get to the printing moment. <laughs> So once we have the <coughs> saved it in the SD card, we're going to turn our or Wenhao duplicator i3 plus. Well, in my case, at the first moment it didn't uh, it didn't turn on, but now it did. And what we're going to do is insert the SD card from this side where the metal is, not like in the PC like this, because from the other side it cannot read. So we're going to select um, print and the 3D Benchy dot G code. And now we're going to wait until the printing is done.
So once the printing is done, we can just move the platform forward to us, and we can see that it is very well painted, well printed. We can see some small hair of plastic, but we don't need to mention it. We don't. It, that is a problem for us. And you can also see the supports, but that we're going to take away. And now uh, to take it off, I never, I would never recommend you to use your hand because. Uh, there's a higher chance of it from breaking and the uh, support staying to the ground. So instead, use a scrapper like this one and just try to find its weak spot. Like you see here, I'm just trying to find the weak spot from how it is set and more like in a few seconds. See, I found where I can pull it off. And it's and it's very good because it's uh, sticked to the bed sheet, but well, it's stick to the sheet, but it uh, it doesn't stay like you know like glue. And now once we have our model here, as you see, we need to take off its supports. So you can see me trying. So I use something that is uh, small, you know. But first we have to take off the the <coughs> the support that was applied to the bed from the bed to the other side and as you can see a piece fell from there but that is a problem and now that what which will be the most hard part is to take off that support as you can see in the window the sides of the boat and the back which has on the window which also has i'm going to use a small well not a small uh a very thin metal ball to at least take off a bit of the plastic and once we're done as you can see that uh, we have a very cute boat with uh, some of the sides might be a bit might are a bit uh, like not complete as you can see there in the back but that is a problem it's because I haven't uh, finished and I'm just trying to make some circles or take away the plastic from there and uh, then it will be more round than usual and as you can see it's it's quite better yeah you can see the sides are, are, are actually very good the back the bottom is great and it's like it's uh, with very high detail huh? and I, I could show you the other one that I have done in orange which is bigger and as you can see it's uh, it's very high detailed so I recommend using you uh, some a bigger a bigger uh, scale of the thing that you're going to print in order to get the more the best quality that you can and this is the end of our video but before we end off I'm going to I'm going to make you a small sneak peek the next video will be about something that from a game that you guys most like which is the Clash Royale wooden chest yes as you can see I have printed one and thank you guys for watching I'll see you next time